Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. You love grocery haul day, I love grocery haul day. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. I did follow the macros I did for myself using my same calculations and have lost 140 pounds and maintained that weight loss. So highly, highly recommend having yours done as well as links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. Palmer just came shooting in the dog door. He's hilarious. I did shop at my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. So let me show you what I picked up. So the first thing I grabbed is this French bread, bread baguette. That's a tongue twister. I actually needed this for a recipe. I also picked up two loaves of Troy's bread. These are still buy one, get one free. So if you like this bread or your family does, that makes them a little over $2 a loaf, which is a really, really good deal. You can always throw it in the freezer if you don't go through the bread quick enough and I was so excited that good culture is back my store has not had good culture for well over a month I was so happy to see it I thought they were discontinuing it and I did not want to pay six dollars a container at Sprout so it is back at my local Kroger store and I was so excited so I picked one up I also got some unsalted butter because I typically buy my Kerrygold butter at Costco, but it's salted and I needed unsalted for a recipe. And then obviously with all the baking and stuff coming up for Christmas. I also got two packages of one third less fat cream cheese. I need this for a couple of recipes. I do have a Halloween baking video coming out tomorrow. You're not gonna wanna miss it because there's three Halloween recipes. So don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell on. I actually needed cream cheese for one of those. And then I got this just because it sounded fun for Halloween. This is the Toll House M&M's Ghoul Mix Sugar Cookie Dough. I'm gonna make these cookies for us for the week. I didn't get anything from the bakery section. There wasn't really any good deal. So I got these, I thought that I could make them and then obviously we'll have everything I make in the Halloween baking video. I got some frozen potatoes O'Brien. This is for my breakfast meal prep. I also needed graham crackers for my Halloween baking video and some heavy whipping cream. Unfortunately, the only one they had was the Kroger brand and it has carrageenan. So I was trying to find one that didn't, but that was my only option, so I grabbed it. I also needed some more brown sugar since I've been doing so much baking. And if you know, you know, we love this seven layer dip so much. It was actually on sale this week for $6.99. So I picked that up and we do still have tortilla chips left over from last week. I also grabbed Troy two gallons of iced tea. They only had two gallons left of the zero sugar. So I bought both the gallons that they had. And then I got him two gallons of 1% milk as well. The Jenny O 93.7 ground turkey is $3.79 a pound on sale, like a normal sale. So that's a really good deal. So I picked up two. I'm going to throw them in my freezer. I typically use this for Lola's homemade food. And then the 93.7 ground beef is $7.50 for two pounds. So that's like $3.75 a pound. Again, such a great deal. I should have got more, but my freezer's pretty full and we're really trying to go through a lot of our perishable food at, over the next few months while our house is being built before we move. So I'm going to divide this out into two one pound packages. And then I got Troy some ham, deli ham. This was on sale for $2.99, which is really good. So I actually got two. That's for his breakfast sandwiches. And I also eat the deli ham as well. And I got diced ham. This is for my breakfast meal prep. I did have to pick up some eggs since our egg lady is on vacation. So she won't be able to deliver eggs for about another week or so. And we are almost out. So I picked these up. These are local here to Arizona. And they were on sale for $3.38 a dozen. And then I grabbed this just because it was pretty fun. This is a little Twix and Snickers Halloween candy thing with green center. So I thought I would add that to the candy to hand out for Halloween. I also got these 
pork chops for me. Troy doesn't really like pork chops, but the macros on these are really good. And there's 23 grams of protein. These were on sale for $3. So I thought that would be just an easy lunch, or I could have it as part of a high protein breakfast. They're pretty thin boneless loin chops. So they're actually a lower fat option. I'm going to try them, see if I like them. And then for produce, I did grab some organic tomatoes. We're going to have BLTs this week, some carrots for a recipe, a couple of apples for my Halloween baking video, bananas. They just sounded good. There wasn't really a lot of good fruit deals other than grapes on sale. And I have some of the Moondrop grapes already in my fridge. So I grabbed some bananas for the week. The big, huge avocados are only 99 cents, so I picked up two. I also got this poultry seasoning. I have a recipe that calls for sage and thyme, and this actually has sage and thyme and rosemary in it, and it was cheaper to buy this than to buy multiple packs of single spices, so I grabbed that. I needed butternut squash puree for a recipe, so I just got butternut squash. I'm gonna cook it up and smash it up into a puree, and then some celery for a recipe. So that is everything for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So I'm making chicken pot pie with biscuits. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And like I mentioned in the grocery haul, we are having BLTs. And then here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. I am so excited for these recipes. I'm making a breakfast bunt cake. For lunch, we're gonna do honey butternut squash and, squash and gnocchi with sausage. And then for dessert, we're doing crop copycat crumble cookies. We're doing their cinnamon roll crumble cookie copycat. Cannot wait for that. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for another healthy on track week. Plus we got a little sweet treats thrown in there too, which is all about balance in a weight loss journey. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. I'll have all my favorite things down below, nutrition coaching and my free Facebook group. Come and join us again we would love to have you so stay tuned tomorrow is my halloween baking video with three delicious halloween recipes and i will see you in the next one